Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Doom Eternal. Today is episode number seven. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, we're back at the Fortress of Doom. Our system is being corrupted. Oh. Hmm. 41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Okay, interesting. Acquire the ballista. What is that? Oh, it's this thing. This is like the gorse um, cannon from the original Doom. Uh, Doom 2016 when I say original Doom. That is really nice. It's a really powerful weapon as well. Right, looks like we're off to our next location then. Let's go. Destroy the super gore nest. Ooh. Honestly, though, because of the scenarios and sort of setting of this game, it looks absolutely stunning with all the towers just destroyed and all that. But the game has a very, like, Rage gameplay feel to it. It has a lot of stuff from Rage. Um, I know definitely they've copied the dash mechanic from Rage. This thing. Hmm. The Super Gornest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began. What? The oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. Ah, hang on. There we go. We're up. Um. Let's go. Oh, there's loads of these things. Total obliteration. Oh, we got a big chungus over here. Oh, that's the gore nest. Right, um, I want to get that. Honestly, though, Mick Gordon's done an absolutely stunning job of the soundtrack of this game. Right, uh, where are they at? Oh, there he is. Total destruction and stab his eyes. Let's try with this guy as well. Right, there we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. His weapons don't work properly anymore. 
There's a shield dude down there as well. Get booted. Oh, absolutely walloped there. This game is stunning. Right, get rid of machine guns. Amazing. Oh, stomped. Monster stomp. Here we go. Got a beefy boy over here. Oh, these are new guys. Right, give us that health. Microwave. Roses are red. My name is Dave. This poem makes no sense. Microwave. Oh, come on. Just let me microwave you. Oh, chopped up. Where else are they? Here you are. Come on. Oh! Come on. He keeps turning around. Oh no, hang on. Shotgun's dead. Give us that health. Lovely. Uh, so somehow there's a way through that direction. Hmm. Oh, that's something disconnected. Lovely. Online services are no longer available. Uh, we will check them out in a minute. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Wall climb. We don't need the online services right now. We can stick to being offline. Holy, what on earth are you? You're new. And you're easy to kill as well, surprisingly. Right, I want to take a look at uh, Codex. What was that enemy then? Dread Knight? Chain Gun can quickly fall to this demon. Okay, so it looks like chain guns are good. And obviously we're going to get the chain gun back again at some point. Holy crap. Run away, run away, run away. Come on. 
obliterated. I'm trying to get rid of the gun off his back. Ah, there we go. So that seems to eliminate things very easily. Um, using the rifle with the scope. There we go. Uh, buff totem. Buff totems increase the speed and damage of nearby demons. Buff demons will endlessly spawn until the buff totem is destroyed. Okay, so demons won't stop spawning. Until we figure out a way to stop them from spawning. Which is to destroy the buff totem thing. Total destruction. There is something over there, like some form of teleporter. There we go, buff totem destroyed. Oh gosh, yes, I should have seen that come in. Give me the Praetor token for the suit. And there's actually one more. Oh no, that's been done. Remember, demons can be an offensive term. Refer to them as mortally challenged. Demon can be an offensive term. Refer to them as the mortally challenged. Yellow Gorky, what's that? Oh, that's to go through there. Okay. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. Hang on, there's something up here though. Ah, a rune. Okay, so we can choose either speed boost after a glory kill. Uh, remaining in a longer stay. Killed by a blood punch. Shockwave drops health. Joe, you know I want to try the left trigger in midair thing. Um, so we'll swap it out with one of them. I think I'm going to swap out... Faster... Glory kills, I think. Yeah, faster glory kills we can get rid of for now. Mm. I'm drinking. Let me have a beverage. Woo! That is amazing. Oh no! That definitely didn't go to plan. I wasn't supposed to fall down. Holy crap! 
There's spiders everywhere. Okay, so if I'm not flying... Oh, take that. And eat up. Uh, right, quick, heavy cannon. Both of them have been dealt with. Now, super shotgun. Here we go. Stabby, stabby. Microwave. What on earth are these things? Okay, we're out of ammo completely. Okay, we got rockets. Oh, right into the ground. Jesus. Oh no. Somehow I need to get ammo. No, chainsaw you. Roses are red, my name is Dave, this poem makes no sense. Microwave, ah, oh, I didn't die. this guy here we need to get rid of two of them actually oh my gosh so if you destroy their bases they sort of like regenerate themselves give me that Oh my god. That is insane. The damage. Right, so we have to place this. Two more keys will be required to open the passage. Find them. So we need two more keys. Sometimes evolution just needs a little push. And here at the UAC, we push all. Oh my gosh, that looks like Terminator. Oh, right in his head. Right. Oh my gosh, it's these ones. Invisible buggers. That mid-air sort of slow motion thing that this um, uses is actually pretty useful and I'm glad I picked it now. It's just such an interesting additional game mechanic. Like, it's obviously been copied from Rage 2. 
I think it's the same as like the mid-air one. But obviously, rather than being rocket boosters, it just sort of levitates you a little bit. Uh, slow motions you, not levitates. I'm saying the wrong things, but this is looking very useful. Right, loot magnet. So we can get either more ammo, more health, or more armor. I think we're going to go for health. We're gonna go for health for this one because we go through health like crazy. Um, is there anything over in this direction? No, there isn't. This is the heart of the nest. It has taken root in this facility's main power generator. Oh. oh crap, I didn't see there was enemies here. How do I get through there? Come on, explosion. Absolutely stunning. Oh, there's a weapon here. It's locked away though, unfortunately. What did... Here we go. Right. Let's grab you. Ooh, right in the eyeball. Uh, so there's nothing through here. We need a red key to get to that. Which I'm guessing the red key will then get us the chain gun. Okay, this weapon isn't a good one to have the mod for. Oh, we got the rad suit. I oh, put a th thingy in front of me. What a cheat. Oi. That's not fair. Whew. Oh my gosh. He's like spinning and just explosion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to talk more about Doom Eternal and all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, make sure to join the Discord down in the description below. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.